Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through contact resistance tests with CPC100. In this video, we are going to perform contact resistance test. Let's get started. Contact resistance test. Performing a contact resistance test on a Unigear ZS1VD4 vacuum circuit breaker inside switchgear is crucial for detecting contact wear, oxidation, or loose connections that could lead to overheating and power loss. Since the VSB is installed inside the switchgear panel, special precautions must be taken to ensure a safe and accurate test. To perform this test, we are going to use Unigear ZS1 with VD4 circuit breaker switchgear. Safety and precautions. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Avoid touching any live parts. Use PPE to protect yourself, including HV insulated gloves and face shields. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as personal protective equipment, lockout tagout procedures, and proper grounding. Equipment and tools required. Calibrated multimeter. Calibrated CPC 100. Earthing cable. Earthing stick to discharge the test line. Test setup including cables, terminals, and a controlled environment for safety. Test cables and clamps for secure connection to breaker terminals. Preparation and safety checks. Perform a visual inspection of the switchgear and VSB for any damage or abnormalities. Verify that all connections are correct and earthing is proper. Ensure the switchgear and VSB is isolated from the power source. Verify that the CPC-100 test set is calibrated and functional. Ensure access to primary contacts via the test ports or bus bar connections. Identify the test points on VSB. Step-by-step -step procedure. Power on the CPC-100 and select Contact Resistance Test Mode. Identify test points. If test access ports are available, connect directly to primary terminals. If not, use bus bar or cable terminations inside the switchgear. Set an appropriate test current. Connect CPC-100 test cables red to line one of the VSB A06 contact. Connect CPC-100 test cables black to line one of the VSB A07 contact. Ensure firm and clean connections to avoid measurement errors. Close the both VSBs. VSB A06 and VSB A07 to establish a current path. Set the test current in CPC 100, typically 100A to 200A for vacuum breakers. Start the test and measure the voltage drop across the contacts. The CPC 100 calculates contact resistance using Ohm's law. Record the values.
Connect CPC-100 test cables red to line 2 of the VSPI A06 contact. Connect CPC-100 test cables black to line 2 of the VSPI A07 contact. Ensure firm and clean connections to avoid measurement errors. Start the test and measure the voltage drop across the contacts. Record the values. Connect CPC-100 test cables red to line 3 of the VSPI A06 contact. Connect CPC-100 test cables black to line 3 of the VSPI A07 contact. Ensure firm and clean connections to avoid measurement errors. Start the test and measure the voltage drop across the contacts. Record the values. Evaluating results. A typical contact resistance for UniGear VD4 should be below 100 μω. Higher resistance may indicate contaminated, worn, or pitted contacts. For more power transformer testing tutorials, subscribe to PowerTech Insights. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.